Alrighty. This is the difference between the swamp rabbit and the cottontail. Or some of the differences. One, that's pretty much an average swamp rabbit. It's been good. It normally is about twice that wide. Uh, same thing on this little cottontail. He's normally twice that wide. Well, anyway, just the head features here. <clears throat> you see his big nose sticking out. One, it's more of what I call a donkey head. Uh, just a little more rounded, or a little more straightforward and gradual slope. As opposed to this little round head on the cottontail. The ears on the cottontail got more little sharp, straight edges on them. Where once again, you got these big old donkey ears going on on a swamp rabbit. Uh, obviously, the size difference. Uh, swamp rabbits usually got a little more small, tapered tail. Cottontail's got a really fluffy tail compared to the length on it. And finally, the feet, probably one of the easiest ways to tail. Besides the size, a swamp rabbit generally his claws are sticking out. And generally his feet are a lot darker than his tail, and they're real narrow compared to what a cottontail is. Cottontail is usually more light colored and rounded over. Like, think of like a, a cat paw, if you will, as opposed to a cat paw with the, the nails out, I guess, or a dog paw. Let's put it that way, like dog versus cat. Now don't be confusing that with a half-grown swamp rabbit. He's still got the dopey ears. The head's a little off, but he's obviously a lot darker color than the cottontail, which they do tend to vary. And once again, the easiest way to tell is to see them nails sticking out. So, <clears throat> there you go. For those of y'all that don't know, the difference between a swamp rabbit and a cottontail.